You have just received your Aardvark I2C SBI host adapter and are wondering what to do next. In this video, we will open a new Aardvark adapter and show how to easily get started using this tool. The Aardvark I2C SBI host adapter is one of Total Phase's most popular host adapters. It is capable of acting as an SPI master up to 8 MHz, an SPI slave up to 4 MHz, or as an I2C master or slave up to 800 kHz. The tool is fully supported on Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems. As we open the box, we are presented with the Aardvark I2C SPI host adapter, as well as documentation on its one-year product warranty. On this side of the Aardvark adapter, we can see it includes a 10-pin header that is used to connect to a target system. On the other side is the USB port, which is used with the included 6-foot USB cable to connect the host adapter to the host computer. To get started, we will download the Control Center serial software from the Total Phase website. To do this, navigate to www.totalphase.com and log into your user account. Having an account is required to download the software, so if you do not already have one, be sure to create one beforehand by clicking Register. Now that we are logged in, navigate to the software section of the store. Here you can freely download all the software needed to interface with the Aardvark I2C SPI host adapter. Along with the Control Center serial software, you can also find the update utility and free APIs. If you are using a Windows or Linux machine, you will first need to download the appropriate USB drivers. The download is quick and easy. From the store, select either the Windows or Linux USB driver and begin to download. Once the download is finished, open the executable file and follow the prompts to install the USB drivers to your system. Now that we've installed the drivers, we can launch the Control Center serial software and connect the Aardvark adapter to the computer using the included USB cable. Now, connect the Aardvark adapter to the software by going to the adapter menu. Next, we'll connect the Aardvark's 10-pin header to the target system. For our setup, we will be using the Total Phase I2C SBI Activity Board. The Aardvark adapter is capable of communicating with I2C or SPI traffic in master or slave mode. Depending on system requirements, we can configure the device accordingly. To do so, we'll select the I2C and SPI mode to bring up the I2C and SPI control panels. We'll also enable I2C pull-ups and or target power. To configure the Aardvark adapter as an I2C master within the I2C control panel, you can configure the bitrate, click on Master tab, enter the 7-bit slave address or optionally configure a 10-bit address, select No Stop, enter Number of Bytes and Message, and then click Master Write or Master Read depending on the target system application. To configure the adapter as an I2C slave, we'll first click on the Slave tab. Enter the 7-bit I2C slave address. Optionally, we could enter the max TX bytes, max RX bytes, and slave response message based on the parameters of the target system. Click Set Response of setting a slave response, and then click Enable. To configure the Aardvark adapter as an SPI master within the SPI control panel, we'll configure the bitrate, click on the Master tab, Configure the polarity, phase, bit order, SS polarity, and MOSI message based on the parameters of the target system, and then click send to shift out the MOSI message on the SPI bus. To configure the adapter as an SPI slave, we'll click on the slave tab. Configure the bit rate, polarity, phase, bit order, and MISO message based on the parameters of the target system. Click set MISO message of setting a slave response, and then click Enable. As you can see, setting up the Aardvark I2C SPI host adapter is quick and easy. If you find you need additional assistance in setting up your adapter, please contact our technical support team. For more information on the Aardvark I2C SPI host adapter or other Total Phase tools, please visit us online at www.totalphase.com.